Well, let's go. All right, let's go. So here we are. We just crossed in, in Manhattan. We just crossed Houston Street. I used to say Houston, but it's Houston. And Greenwich Village is on just the other side of Houston. And we're on Lafayette Street. And if you look across at that building, 285 Lafayette, that was the home of David Bowie for many years. Uh, he and his wife Iman used to live on Central Park and then in 1999, I think they moved to Manhattan in 95, they got married in 92, and they lived in Central Park, but uh, in 99 he bought a 5,000 square foot unit there. It had a private elevator. Maybe we'll go over there later and see maybe where he walked in and out because there's stores you can see on the bottom. So I don't think I don't think he walked through a store to get to his place. So there must be like a private uh, entrance. So he lived there from '99 until his death in 2016. And uh, I remember reading that uh, Bowie liked the kind of uh, anonymity of New York. He was used to walk around wearing sunglasses and a baseball cap, t-shirt and shorts, like cargo shorts. You wouldn't think, you know, he would be wearing cargo shorts and tennis shoes, but he did. And uh, nobody, I don't think anybody really recognized him when he was walking around. And one of the things he liked to do when he lived here was he liked to walk to Washington Square, where we just came from, and look at all the, he said, characters that would be in Washington Square. So. So this was his home for many years, 1999 to 2016, so. It might have been up there where he years. Yes, he and if you can pan up there, Joe, um, you had a rooftop deck, and it actually, maybe there's a similar one on the other side, but it actually looks like, because it was a long, narrow rooftop deck, it actually looks like where you see the vegetation there. So there might be another deck on the other side, just like that, but there's a good chance that that was his deck. So he must have had a top floor unit. He bought it for I think three and a half million in '99, and then Iman, after he died in 2016, Iman kept the the apartment. I think she lived in. Uh, they also had a house in Woodstock, or she still has a house in Woodstock. Um, but after about five years, she sold that. I think in 2021 or 22, just a year or two ago, she sold it for I think it was 17 million. Uh, yeah, this is where he lived. It was an old chocolate factory converted into apartments. So, I've seen pictures online. It looked like it was a beautiful, beautiful apartment. So this was his neighborhood. He liked to shop at an upscale grocery store called Dean, Dean and DeLuca. That's probably around here somewhere. He liked to go to Bleecker, uh, Bleecker Records, which was in Greenwich Village. So this was his neighborhood. He was always walking around. That's, that's so cool, huh? I love, I love Bowie. Look at all stores here. I don't think he would have come through here. So let's. Uh, Oh, are you rolling? Yep. Okay, so I just want to see where his entrance would have been. So that's the 285. But these are all stores here. It looks like they're redoing the store. So let's just see where, when I was younger, I used to call him David. <laughs> As if I knew him. So, uh, yeah, like most people, I was a huge uh, Bowie fan. I once went to Veve in Switzerland when I was a teenager. I happened to be over in Europe and so I, I went there and just kind of walked around the town. Back then, there was no Google, so I couldn't figure out where his address was in, in Switzerland. But it, You're still looking for addresses now. I know, I'm still looking at addresses now, but yeah, this is a long time ago. I, I walked around Veve just thinking, oh my God, David might shop here. David might go there. <laughs> but I didn't know where his house was. Yeah. Of course, I was so shy. If I had run into him, I probably would have been, you know, so shy. I would have... Whoa. So let's look and see maybe where, because he wouldn't have come in and out of these doors. Let's see where the entrance would be. 
Let's see where David. <laughs> Going back to my teenage years. What would your mother say now that oh you're still God. looking for David? I never told her. I I happen to be in Europe, but I never told her. I took a little side trip to Vevey, Switzerland, to to look for his address. But so let's see where he would have come in and out. So, That's oh, a library a, here. This is a library. Oh, cool. Side. We'll pop in. See if they have any used books for sale, too. He, he probably went to this library. Oh, that's convenient. Oh, what a dream to live above a library. Yeah. Oh, he was a big book reader. I would books. Mulberry Street, we walked through some of this. This is a little Italy section. Yeah. Might have dinner here tonight, but we want to go to the bitter end. Yeah, we're So I don't know what's going to happen. So let's go over here because... Now, I'm guessing that his door would have been there. I don't know. I think so. Watch it. This is all over here. I'm guessing that he would have gone in and out there. We walked around the building. There was a back door. I think that would have been where he went in and out. Did you get a shot of that? Yeah. So there was a back door there. But So this is the side of the building. And it has a New York Public Library right in the basement or in the ground floor of the building where he lived. So, I bet he went in here. This very door. Let's do it. Well, let's go. Let's go. Right, so here we are on the side of Bowie's condominium or loft building and that addresses Jersey Street. So this is a New York Public Library that opened in 2007. So Bowie bought the place in 1999. I think he and Iman and their uh, daughter, uh, Alexis, moved here, I think about 2000. And uh, we just were speaking, we can't film in there, we were just speaking with the librarian. And she told us that Bowie, she heard from colleagues that Bowie came to the ribbon cutting ceremony. In 2007, and as most people know, he was a huge uh, reader. He loved, uh, you know, he loved William Burroughs. He loved Jack Kerouac. I mean, I think he just read everybody. And he used to go to a bookstore over in Greenwich Village called McNally Jackson. And he probably came here. It was in the basement of his building, in the ground floor. So let's walk around just the back one more time. Go in. This is where. It's a, s a small little library. It's quaint. Uh, they have poetry on. They can get involved in online on. Yeah. I guess a Tuesday every month, which Tuesday. I'm going to check out too. Yeah, and this is Mulberry Street, which goes right yeah. down into Little Italy. Yeah. You can kind of see the start of it there. So I'm sure he probably had dinner a lot in Little Italy. Oh. So this was his neighborhood. We'll make sure we get that door too. Uh, yeah, make sure I get the right door. Yeah. All right. So this is the door. This is the back door to the lofts, and because the front is on a busy street, Lafayette, we're thinking that probably he would have gone in and out this door. Yeah. And you can kind of see inside. It looks very nice, and there's a buzz. Uh, there's a buzzer for the concierge. So. This is the back door to his loft building. He had a private elevator, so he would have gone up and down his own elevator to his loft. But he would have, we're thinking, we're 99% sure that he would have gone in and out this door. So there you got it. All right, so we're back in front of David Bowie's building, 285 Lafayette Street. And there was, it looked like a back entrance so he could have used that, but it looks like this is the main entrance. We didn't notice it before. There's stores on either side, but there is a main entrance here. You can see, I don't know, the delivery for going on. There's a receptionist there. So this is the main entrance. So this is probably where he went in and out most of the time, if not all the time, right here on Lafayette Street. Very nice high-end stores on either side. Yeah, if you could just sort of zoom in there. Yeah, 
And he would have come out right here and, and seen us. Street life, which is what he liked. He liked to walk around and be incognito. I'm sure people didn't even look twice okay. at him. <laughs> Alright, well that's it. Until the next time in Bowie's neighborhood. <laughs>